For most of the common people, Instagram stories are nothing but some series of pictures or status. But if you want engagement as if you are an influencer or business, you need to stand out from the crowd to grab this opportunity. You might be thinking, what's an opportunity in this simple Instagram stories? Then let me explain to you. Every day, over 300 million people use Instagram stories as photos or video sequences that disappears 24 hours after being posted. Not only are Instagram stories fun and creative, but they are great for growing your engagement, building brand awareness, driving traffic to your website and even making e-commerce sales. How? Well, you can create animations like this one that we will be creating today and level up your Instagram game. This After Effects tutorial is highly inspired from the Create Pack made by Aloha FX. This pack not only consists of some amazing Instagram stories, but they also have some Instagram interfaces animation which you can use to showcase your Instagram profile. Also they have some Instagram emoji animations collection which consists of various different emojis with some really cool animations. So I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out. The link will be down in the description. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this story 1080 by 1920, 60 FPS and 15 seconds long. Let's hit OK. I'll create one more composition, which is going to be our media placeholder where we can drag and drop in any image or video, whatever that we want to use. I'm going to call this media underscore 01. Hit OK. Let's drag and drop in our image. You can of course use any image that you want. I just got this image from unsplash.com. So I'm using this. I'll go into my main story composition. Let's drag in the media composition. And then I can add a tint on this. And by the way, I'm using the FX console, which is a free After Effects script. If you don't have the script, you can simply go into Windows effects and preset and then you can type in the effect that you want and then double click to apply that up but for the rest of the tutorial i will be using the effects console because i am used to it and i use it and i definitely recommend you guys as well to use it because it helps to increase the workflow the link will be down in the description in case if you want to use it so let's change the tint white to a nice uh, pink color you can of course select any color that you like or any of your favorite colors actually so i'll go with something like this looks pretty good and for the blue for the black i am gonna keep a nice blue tint so we have a nice combination of pink and dark blue which i really like so that is looking pretty great let's go ahead and create our light leaks which will make the complete scene a bit more you know appealing so i'll make i'll call this light leaks Hit OK. Let's hit Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid. I'll call this Fractal and add a Fractal Noise on this. Again, if you want to um, add a Fractal Noise, you can go into Effects and Preset and just type in Fractal Noise to use that. But I don't really use the Effects and Preset panel. So let's change the Fractal type to maybe let's go with a nice um, cloudy look. Um, no, that is not going to work. Maybe I'll just leave it at basic. I'll go into the noise type and let's change this from, from a linear to spline. Then I'll bring down the brightness really low. Also bring down the complexity all the way down to one. Then go into the transform properties and increase the scale really high. Something like this. And then we can animate the revolution, evolution, not the revolution. I think it's a bit too much. Maybe I'll increase the scaling a bit more. And yeah, this looks perfect. Let's go ahead and add some noise. Very little, like 2%. And then I'll add a U and saturation so that we can color this thing up. Colorize, bring up the color saturation all the way up to 100. And then you can select any color that you like. I'm going to go with a nice um, blue color. Let's go into this main story comp and drag and drop in the light leaks composition, change the blending mode to screen. And there you go. Looking very nice. 
maybe i'll make it a bit more darker blue and then i'll go into the evolution of the fractal noise and let's add an expression so hold alt and click on the stopwatch and give it the expression of time into let's go with 100 so it keeps on giving us a nice evolution as you can see looking pretty nice actually so there we go that is looking very nice maybe i'll bring down the intensity by adding a curve so you can also bring that down by lowering the opacity but i like to do it with the curve so the color doesn't get affected much yep that is looking sweet let's go ahead and add some animation to our media so what I can do is I can duplicate this hit, hit control D to duplicate it. I'll call this M for mat and change the track mat of media one to alpha mat. Now, if you don't see the track mat option, you can hit F4 on the keyboard to make it visible. So I'll go to around, let's say one second and 30 frames. Hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, go back and set this to around 150. All right. Let's go back again to one second and 30 frames. Select the mat, hit S, create a keyframe, go back and bring that down to zero. Also, I'll go right here again, select the light leaks, hit T to bring down the opacity, create a keyframe, go back to somewhere around, let's say one second and bring that down to zero. So let's select the keyframe, hit F9. And then select this keyframe, hit F9. And I will be using a free After Effects script again called the Keyframe Wingman, which will help us to tweak the keyframes by just, you know, instead of doing it in the graph editor, I can just tweak this handle. And this makes um, a lot easier to use the graph editor and I like to keep it at 100. Now, if you don't want to use this script, you can do this manually as well by just, if I just go back, I'll hit Control Z. If I go back, and if you want to do it manually, you can select this keyframes or points and drag the handle, select this handles and drag them to the left. But if you, if I select this, hit F9 and then do it by just clicking on this um, script that is the keyframe wingman, it saves us a lot of time. I'll mention the link again down in the description in case if you want to download it, it is absolutely free. So now we have a uh, nice and snappy animation. Let's preview this really quick. Yep, that is looking pretty good. I'll select the media comp and add a transform effect on that so I can give it a nice scaling animation. I'll go at the very beginning, create a keyframe on the scale height, go to around 15 seconds all the way up and set this to 115. So we have a little bit of scaling animation as you can see. Very little, but looks very good. Now let's go ahead and add some titles to this um, all th this complete thing. So I'll create a new composition. This time I'm going to set the height to 1080. Call this title underscore o one. Hit OK. So let's select the text tool and type in the text that we want. I'm going to type in modern, just like we did for the example i'm using the babis font which is again one of my favorite i'll set the size to 150 and align it into the center just like that select the rectangular tool and create a box just like so put this at the back i'm going to call this box and again align this to the center as well and that is looking pretty nice so let's go ahead and animate this i'll go to around one second select the box hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this create a keyframe on the scale go back and set this to zero or the height to zero select this and add our nice snappy animation by just clicking on the cycle so we have a nice snappy look as you can see maybe i'll i think i should go with maybe one second and 30 frames that looks much better then let's go here select the text and i'll go into animate and add a position animation bring that down just like so around 180 
should work good go into animator one range selector and let's animate the offset so let's bring that up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to zero select the keyframes and click on this icon to add our nice animation as you can see this is looking very nice now let's use this box as a track mat so i'll select the text and add an effect called set mat select the box and there we go now i'm going to displace this a bit so i'll move the text forward maybe 30 frames yep i think this is looking pretty good maybe 30 frames is a bit too much i'll go with like 20 yep that looks much better let's create a new null object and again move the anchor point into the center now if you don't have the move anchor point script you can hold i believe it was um control and click on the pan behind tool double click actually double click on the pan behind tool and it will align the anchor point into the center let's select both the layers and pattern them to the null now if you don't have the parent option you can click on this area right click go into columns and turn on the parent and link option so now we have parented it let's hit s to let's hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe i'll move that keyframe to around two seconds just to be a bit more precise then go to around three seconds and move this a bit up just a touch like so i'll go right here hit s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe and then hit u so we can see all the keyframes go at 3 second and 30 frames and scale this down to 90 maybe 90 is a bit too much let's go with maybe 92 select all the keyframes and click on this icon to apply the animation yep i think this is looking pretty nice very small but it's going to look definitely cool so let's go back into our main story comp let's close them all add our title and I'm going to place this in the position that I want. So somewhere around there, let's bring that down to around 85. I think 80. And let's add a transform effect on this. And I'm going to skew this by minus 7. Because I think that looks good. Let's select the title 1 layer. Hit Control D. So we have title 4 and 5. Actually, this should be title 2. And this should be title 3. Let's go into the title 2. And I'm going to type in modern Instagram story. So Instagram. Now as you can see. Let's actually align this firstly to the center. So let's select the box. Hit U two times. To reveal all the properties. Unlink this and increase the size. Just like so. There we go. Let's select the title 3. Hit con Let's select the title t double click to open that up and this time i'm going to type in stories there we go make sure it is into the center perfect now go back into our main story comp select the title one hit ctrl d two times to create the copies let's select the second one move that down select the third one and move that down so I'll select the second one select the title to hold alt and drag and drop it so it's going to replace it same i'm going to do with the third one select third title third hold alt and drag and drop it to replace it so that is looking pretty good maybe i'll just make them perfectly aligned so that is looking super cool i'll increase the i'll i'll move them to the top a bit by using the arrow keys and then what I can do is let's displace them by 10 frames. So I'll hold shift and page down to move 10 frames forward in time. Let's move that 10 frames forward, hold shift and page down and then move it, move this 10 frames forward. So as you can see, we have some nice animation for our text as well. Maybe I'll go to 30 frames and move all the three layers back by 30 frames. 
So let's see what we have so far. Yep, so I think this is looking very stylish and you know has that nice motion to it. Let's also go ahead and add some hashtags as well. So I'll select the text tool and let's type in hashtag Instagram stories. Then I can add in maybe create motion. And let's add one more dope motions. So right now it's look it looks super messy. Let's bring down the size so that looks much better. Maybe let's go with 40. And again align it into the center. Let's go ahead and add a nice um, animation to this. Also, I can set this to actually center. All right. So let's go ahead and add a nice um, position animation. Also, go ahead and add a opacity property. Bring down the opacity to zero and bring down the position to 100. Go into the range selector. I'll go around two second and 30 frames. And now we can animate this using the offset. So I'll set this to zero, create a keyframe on the offset, go to three second and 30 frames and set this all the way up to 100. So now we have an interesting animation, but what I can do is I can go into advanced properties and and set the base on to words. So that is the animation I was going for. And yeah, that is looking great. So as you can see, using some very simple steps, you can create some amazing looking Instagram stories for your Instagram profile. Also make sure to check out the create pack. The link will be in the description box below. If you don't want to create, create this animation by yourself, you can just simply go ahead and use the animation from the create pack. It's very simple and easy to use. And that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always. So that is a wrap for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe, comment and like this video. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at dope.motions and we have freshly launched our new website dopemotions.com. We have, we have actually redesigned it so make sure to check it out. There you can find some amazing blog posts as well as some freebies for your projects. And yeah, I'll mention the link down in the description box below. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.